Okay, all these problems are on iLearn, the problem statements themselves. Um, you can download those, print them out, and follow along. Starting with a uh, problem that's really straightforward, we give it a, a known operating load and then ask to uh, ask to determine the catalog specification that we should choose. And that load rating, essentially, we're looking for is the C10 value. C10 is a dynamic load rating in the catalogs. That would that would be what we're actually looking for uh, in a problem like this. So C10 is just given as a relationship to the design load, FD, design life in hours, uh, which is typically a cursive LD, design speed, 60 is a conversion. We have the rated load, rated speed, and 60. A is a constant that relates to the, to the actual type of bearing being used in a cylindrical roller bearing. A is given as 10 thirds. Now for something like this, um, the rated life, whether you specify it in hours or in cycles, depends on the manufacturer for a non-Timken bearing, which we'll assume this is, the rated life is taken as 10 to the 6 cycles. Timken would be 90e to the 6. Uh, we're going to say this is a non-Timken. So to solve for C10, we have everything we need. The design load is 7.5 kilonewtons. The life that we require is 8760. This entire bottom term uh, resolves out to cycles. Got the speed there as well. Um, so we can just replace all that with 10 to the 6. And then 1 over 10 over 3 becomes 3 tenths. And solving for C10, we get a value of 49.1 kilonewtons. And looking at the table for that, we find that for an O2 series bearing, it's going to require a 50 millimeter bore, or excuse me, a 55 millimeter bore. And that is just taking that C10 value, going to the table, which is in Shigley's table 10 or 11.2, is 11.2 uh, or 11, I think it's 11.3 for roller bearings find something with a C10 value above that and that's the bearing you want. If it was a Timken bearing, the only thing that would change would be that value right there and then when you look up the bearing that you want you need to make sure you're using a Timken table. The tables in Shigley are non-Timken so you want to use the 10 to the 6 rated life.